Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another video. So we're back at work at the convent. Ryan and I took that van back on Monday. And yeah, we got back at about six in the morning on Tuesday. So yeah, no video from me yesterday, but we're back at work now and we've got to get this floor finished. So we've got a few more rows to do, then we can start doing all of the cuts around the room, seal it, grout it, seal it, and then start putting all of the furniture and things that I bought for this room in it. And it's gonna look absolutely amazing. I think tomorrow Paddy the carpenter is coming over because he's got to drop off the two interior oak doors that he's made for this kitchen and also the glass for the door that he made as well. He's an absolutely fantastic carpenter. Um, and then I need to talk about skirting and things like that. So I've prepped this morning. I've got everything ready to lay a few rows of tiles. So let's crack on. I've definitely missed working at the convent and I've definitely missed tiling. It's really, really nice to be back and working on this kitchen. So I've laid about 35 tiles today, which is actually quite good progress. Tomorrow I need to try and lay 40 and then that's it. I've just got to do the cuts around the rest of the room. So with the cuts around the room, I'll explain a little bit closer to the time, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use these tiles all the way to the wall. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cut them so that there's a border around the room and it will be a lot easier, but also it will look a lot nicer. So um, what I want to do now is we are going to go and talk about where we're putting the organ because um, originally it was going to go on the gallery, but the organ's too big for a gallery. Um, I'd have to extend the gallery and make it a lot bigger than it used to be. Also, um, I spoke to Father Paul while we were dismantling the organ, and he came up with a great idea of where to put it. So let's go and talk about that. So here we are, everyone. We're in the chapel. And Father Paul came up with a great solution 
for putting the organ somewhere. I didn't want to put it on the stone floor. It might look damp, but it's not damp. It's just because the room is cold and it's a bit like the fireplace. When the room is cold, the stones look damp and we don't want to put it on the floor. And I know I did mention about the gallery, but unfortunately, the organ is too big for the gallery. It would be too large, so I'd have to extend the gallery past the original design. And it means I'd have to come in further to the left there and further to the right there. And it just wouldn't look right. It would dwarf the chapel. And also there are concerns about weight. I'm not gonna say the van was overloaded, but it might have been. And it was def definitely difficult to drive. So I'm assuming there's probably at least two ton, possibly more of organ parts in this chapel. I mean, alone, the lead pipes were probably half the weight of the organ itself. You can see they're all stood up now at 20 degrees. That prevents them from collapsing under their own weight. Otherwise they do turn into pancakes. So I'm gonna show you a photo now of the organ situated on the old altar. And tell me what you think in the comment section. Um, I don't know how to use Photoshop, so this is just thrown together, but it looks great. What do you guys think? So it actually fits perfectly on the old altar space. I've laid out a few pieces of wood. So you can see the bit to the right and the bit on the front. That would be the footprint of the organ. And where the altar used to be, I would remove those pieces of stone that are poking up and I would use some old antique acoustic tiles and that was where the organist, or the person who's playing the organ, would sit. So the bench would be there, the pedals, and then you'd have the two consoles or keyboards. And I tell you what, that would look absolutely amazing. And it also wouldn't cover too much of that. So the organ isn't anywhere near as high as um, the gold, I'm not even sure what they're called, the gold design thingies that are on the top of each column. So it wouldn't be too high. And also the gold pipes would look really nice. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, Father Paul did suggest it and some other people did suggest it as well. Um, and uh, the reason why as well is that the altar space, regardless if the chapel is deconsecrated or not, it would stop the chapel being used for, well not the chapel, the altar space being used for things that it shouldn't be used for. So that was also another reason behind it. And it also wouldn't be an issue installing it now because when the ceiling is restored, we could just put a sheet over the organ itself and it wouldn't get damaged or dusty or dirty. So yeah. The organ is going to be assembled pretty soon. Michael is just finishing off a few jobs at the chateau and then we're gonna start putting the base in and start assembling the inner frame. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Let me know what you guys think about putting the organ on the old altar space. I personally think it's a great idea. We'll still put the gallery back, but it will be for seating and things like that. And this chapel, could be used in the future for music, um, some sort of live events, uh, the retreats like Gwendolyn want to do. And yeah, it's gonna be multi-purpose with a huge, historic, beautiful organ inside of it. So thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you all tomorrow.